Hi, my name is Senia and I want to show you my desktop and some programs I made. First, let's open a terminal. I can right click, it will open a Pi menu called P menu. And it shows several options here. I can select one of them is to draw a terminal. Let's draw a terminal here. Let's run fetch to see some information about my computer. I'm running OpenBSD on a ThinkPad X201 and short is the name of my window manager. I'll talk more about it uh, later. Uh, let's, pawn, let's open another terminal. I can all do it again by right clicking, open the Pi menu and select this option. Or I can use this menu here and draw terminal again, just like I did before. Or I can automat automatically open a terminal at my home directory with this second option here to open a uh, window here and it is also also bind to alt t if i press alt t it will open another window the third option here open terminal here is it works like this uh, if i have a window open let's say the file browser here i'm open at doc algebra my algebra books and i select this option open terminal here the terminal will be opened at doc slash algebra. If I cd to slash tmp and open this again, it is bound to alt shift t, this open terminal here option. So I can uh, type alt shift t in, and it will open the uh, terminal window at tmp, just like the window opened before. Let's close it. Um, one characteristic of my window manager is that windows are opened at empty spaces. So for example, if I open a terminal here, it will be opened at the bottom. Let's move it to here and I open another one. It will open at the right because it was uh, an empty area. Let's move it to the top. The next one will be open at here, this empty area here. Um, so windows are placed automatically. Let's close it. Close it, close it, and close it. Um, uh, so I have four options to run stuff. I can do it by the Pi menu. So here open this, this game. I can also use uh, this menu here, games. Um, open spider. Some options are bound to key bindings like alt T to open a terminal and I can also use the prompt by clicking alt space it will show a prompt where I can type some uh, options here like draw terminal, I can search for drawing terminal, I can search for open Firefox, I can search for a song for example uh, it will open the song here I can uh, search for a main page like fprintf, fprintf, to show the menu of fprintf on the tour as a PDF. Uh, and these are the four options I can use to run stuff. The Pi menu, the menu itself with more options, the key bindings and the prompt. Uh, let's talk more about Shod. Shod is my window manager and uh, it can do some nitty stuff like tabbing. If I draw a terminal here, I can drag and drop uh, the title bar of a window to the title bar of another window and both will be tabbed. I can do more. Uh, I can tab more. And I can also uh, do tiling. It is a tiling window manager. If I, for example, drag and drop to the border of another window, it will be tiled. Two windows will be tiled on a single floating container. It will not be tiled to occupy the entire screen. It uh, will be both tiling and floating at the same time. 
I can open more. Let's open more here. Do, do, do. Open here. And uh, I can maximize it. So it will run just like a regular tab tiling window manager. But I can, for example, move around stuff. I can maximize it here. So the other, other tiled windows are just shaded. Um, another characteristic of my uh, window manager is that minimize, I can minimize windows by going here and select minimize window, which is bound to Alt, Alt Shift Z. If I click Alt Shift Z, it will minimize the window. Here it showed the list of minimized windows. I can click it here and it will open again and show here above. This uh, doc app here is called Paginator, which lists the desktops and the windows I have open and visible and are visible. If I minimize it, it will be shown here at the bottom. And if I hide a window, for example, uh, I hide this window with this bit larger one, the one below it will be hidden and will be listed as minimized here. So if I, for example, resize it to cover the other window, it will be listed here as hidden. The, the smaller window will be listed as hidden here. Another characteristic of my window manager is that it can list, uh, it can unclutter the screen by not showing some mini windows that are attached to a larger window. For example, here GIMP, I have this, this brushes palette where I can select the, this. I can, uh, so it will show this, this, this palettes, the, this mini windows, but when I focus another window, they will disappear to unclutter the screen. They are only shown when they are needed. There is uh, when they are when the the main window is focused. So, for example, I can move it here, and if I select this window below it, they will disappear. Only the main window will be shown. My window manager also have this dock here with these dock apps. The dock is empty by default, but it can swallow mini windows called dock apps. This window here is X menu, it is swallowed. This one paginator is swallowed too. I have this mini window, this dock app for showing the battery level. This one called WMPD art, which shows the album art of the playing song using MPD. This one shows the CPU load. And this one is the time and date. Uh, I can, uh, there is this Pi menu here with these uh, options like uh, media options. I can play and pause here, select next song, uh, stop. I can select, for example, V, my text, e text editor, X chat, open uh, file, file manager. Open draw term for connecting to my plan ni my nine front uh, compute my, my nine front uh, virtual machine and uh, for example I can run here on the games spider let's pause here and uh, I can also run spider by going here and games spider it's the same option just on a different place. Uh, and some options are bound to key bindings. And I can search for options with this prompt. For example, spider, I can search for spider here. And for example, net hack, I can search for net hack, I can search for net surf, and even open the manual for net surf. Um, for, let's open at surf here. If I open at surf, it will open the window and spawn and surf uh, process. 
But if I, for example, focus on another desktop, open another window, and run NetSurf again, it will not spawn another process. It will open the window that was opened before. So let's open, let's select here NetSurf, and it will open the window I opened before. Um, I have some options here to control the window, like sticked container. The window will be sticked and shown on all desktops. I can, let's unstick it. I can shade, the, it's, all, it's bound to Alt, Shift, N, and shading will shade the window. Uh, Alt, Shift, N. I can lower it below orders, raise it, minimize it. If I minimize it, it will be listed here in the list of minimized windows. I can maximize it, full screen, move to desktop, like uh, all desktop one. With Alt Shift one, it will do the same. It is minimized here because it is below the other one. Um, I can focus. I can use, for example, let's tile it here. If I select window, focus, focus column on the left, it will focus the NetSurf window. It is bound to Alt H and focus column on the right to Alt left, Alt L, just like the Vinky bindings. Um, there is this files option that I have not implemented Right now, it will list the directories, the, the content of my home directory, and I can use the menu to browse the, the entries, the files. I can control the music here. We pause and resume. I can select some playlists. I have a few playlists here. I can also search for a playlist. is open here I can also search for a song like um, let's see it's it's search for the song and play start playing um, there is this help menu where I can open some manuals for example the manual for no Caesar open this manual here it will open the manual on at uh, the tour as a PDF I can also search for a manual for example F print F will search for the print F manual uh, let's close this close this let's open the manual for should my window manager why it's not showing oh it's that that's because I have not uh, run uh, updated the the make the, the main page database, so I have to run what is called make what is make what is. So it will update the the main mode database, and then the manual for short and all the, all, all the programs will be listed here. Um, and I think that's it. That's it. Uh, everything I need to show you. So, uh, thanks for watching.